Hi everybody, welcome to Like My Way. Today we're checking out what's going on in your person's mind, what they'd like to tell you and their intentions towards you. So what they want for your connection. There we go. So we have our three piles. Welcome for the new ones. You have the timestamps in the description box with the information for personal readings as well. Three piles, one, two, three. And um, I'll see you at your reading. Everybody's doing good. Before uh, we start with the tarot, I wanted to pull your angel numbers. So I'm just gonna grab a few dice here without looking, obviously. And we'll see what your angel number is. You can go and search out the meaning of those numbers if you feel uh, like you might have a message in there as well. Okay, so we have one, three, four, two as your angel number. One, three, four, and two. So one, two, three, four. We got a sequence that's not in order here. <laughs> one, three, four, two, your angel number. So that looks interesting, I have a number. Let me know if you go check it out, what it means, what's the message. Okay, so before we get into what they want and what they want to tell you and what they want for your connection, I'm just going to check out a little bit like what's going on here and with your person. Oh, we have, that's nice. Worth waiting for? Divine timing is at work in your love life. So something is going on. Might require some patience. Okay. But that's for that. Now let's see. I'm just going to push this here. Okay. Hmm. I need some space. What does your person want you to know? So what would they tell group one here? What would they say? We have strength reversed. Justice. The Emperor. Hmm. The Devil. And the Hermit. Bottom of the deck, you have the Magician. All right. So, well, that's interesting. Um, your person here wants you to know that it might have been stubborn or stuck in their ways, but now they're understanding a bit better uh, maybe their patterns or their addictions, the things they keep repeating. There's something repeating here with the devil. <clears throat> so, uh, or what was toxic in your relationship, they're realizing it. They were maybe too practical back then or recently and were not like so open to change or even your opinion um they wanted to it's like they need they, they were trying to prove themselves but didn't go at it the right way uh, by fear or weakness with strength reversed um it's like now they're understanding with justice uh they might think that you were right even 
but it's like now they they see the truth they they can figure out what was right what was wrong they're figuring it out and they're also at a place where like hey it's time to decide something it's it's time to also be a bit more flexible i'm curious to know here about the uh the devil so i'm just gonna make sure my deck is yeah it's mixed this is a newer deck okay tell me more about the devil here what did they want to say three of wands And the hermit again. I'm going to put one more. And the two of pentacles. <clears throat> Tell me about the hermit because it's there twice. It's karma reverse, which is judgment in this deck. Bottom, Four of Swords. There's a lot of reflection going on here with your person. Lots of thinking. Uh, they might isolate themselves or they might have been isolating themselves to figure things out for, for the connection. But it's like they, they need some time to reflect, to be on their own. Um... They might want you to wait for them here. Judge, uh, judgment and justice are pretty similar cards. But you have it here reversed. It's like your person is realizing that they've made wrong or bad choices for themselves that were not serving them or serving the connection that kept them... away from their true self there's a lot of introspection your person is wanting to manifest something or hoping that something's going to come out of this something good with the magician what's underneath six of cups reversed if you've broken up or if you're in separation and no contact or you had a fight um, they're hoping that things will be better, but they, it's like they're, they're saying here, I need to detach or I needed to detach for some reason because I did, I wasn't strong enough to, like I'm hearing backbone, to have a backbone, to stand up straight, to speak for themselves, to, it's like they, they had to compromise somewhere. So they did something that was not quite aligned with what they truly wanted. But at the same time, it was kind of necessary. So they're taking a pause. They, it's like they need a pause to reflect. With the Hermit twice and the Four of Swords here. Okay, so let's just see what's going on what what they'd like to see happen and for that i'll use oh this deck i haven't used this one in a little while so it's called the good tarot i love the imagery in this one it's just very big to shuffle all right so spirit what does the person for group one, what would they like to see happen in their connection? Queen of Wands reversed. The Nine of Wands. Sorry. Nine of Wands. What would they like to see happen? Page of Pentacles. We have Strength Reverse again. The 
give me one more. Ten of Cups. Sorry, this one is like really on the side. Hmm. Okay, let's clarify strength since we had it twice, both time re both times reversed, three of cups. Bottom the four. Okay. They'd like some reunion here. Uh, they'd like to come in with some kind of offer. It looks a little bit like a second chance here. And they want things to be okay. They want things to be happy here. At peace, fulfilled, like wish fulfillment. So they'd like, they'd like joy and they'd like to have... This is emotional, this part here. It feels very much like a little boy who, who's shy to ask somebody out, you know? Like the first girlfriend when you're eight or eight years old type thing. Feels a little like that, like the discomfort that comes with the energy here. Uh, if there's a third, I need to mention this here. If there's a third party, Involve either on your side or their side. It's like they're because we have it twice here. It's like making the choice is difficult. Well, it doesn't have to be a person, by the way. It could be that just like moving down. Because you're too far apart. It's like it could be a situation as well. But it's like to make that decision seems very difficult. And they're they're determined here to improve, but it's like baby steps, like tiny baby steps with the page of, of pentacles. Um Queen of Ones reversed. Oh, this one's tricky. Give me a second here. Um, so because the Queen of Wands reverse can be like very, she can be jealous, she can be very cold, she can be very domineering. So at the same time, she, she like she can be controlling. It's not necessarily negative. Especially with this here. But there's something that's... It's like something's got to give. Something's got to give. Something's... As to... Be more flexible. Whether with him or them. But they would definitely like things to be like more peaceful peaceful and balanced and feels like misunderstood yeah so let's see what your person would like to tell you oh, and then I'll get into What action they'll take. I think I, I I didn't go quite with the question that I mentioned in the intro, but I'm just going with the flow here. See what comes out. Give me more time. I am not good enough for you yet. Well, this makes sense with the emperor here. You feel like a warm home to me. I know I was a distraction from your pain. If 
finding out the truth crushed, crushed me. Oops. And I'm so attracted to you. I feel like for some of you, there is like some type of third party in the way, something going on or that was going on. There's something about like bad timing. I want to go on an adventure with you. I treasure our time together. So this person cares about you here. It feels more like an unreadiness to jump in or to reach out. So let's just see what what they will do. What they will actually do. What is the person for group one or person? What will they do? Okay, we have five of pentacles reversed and six of wands. Okay, well, that's good. Hope you're still watching. What will they actually do for group one? Temperance. The hermit reversed. Okay, so they're getting out of the men cave or lady cave, men, woman cave. High priestess. Okay, they're going to listen to their God. Uh, this is good. This is good. Group one, eight of wands reversed. Whatever they were doing, I think they will stop. Uh, it could be a really bad addiction, by the way. It doesn't have to be, but some kind of pattern. Or it could even just be like procrastination and putting to later something that they need to do, but they're not doing it by fear of something. Okay. But they're going to come in and apologize here. Um, they're going to recognize your value. Um, and and find like some type of compromise or middle middle ground for both of you. I think your person is going to stop being uh, I'm tempted to say stubborn, but stuck in their ways and really like dig deep inside to see what this connection really is to them and value it. So we're not in the big grand gestures. We're in apology. We're in calmness and peace and forgiveness, which is all good. It's all good. They're going to have more insight. It's very transformational here. It's finding the balance, like the yin and the yang. With temperance right in the center, that's very good. So this person is kind of jumping on the boat, you know? Getting in the game in the, in the proper way. Um, they're going to heal from whatever happened or like recover. Or they're gonna apologize if you because I'm hearing I'm hearing that for some of you uh, you have like this third party or there was like something like a lie or cheating even could be both sides if that's what's got what happened I think you're gonna be all good I think uh, time will pass and Forgiveness is going to happen in the connection and it's just going to be okay. It's just going to be okay. Let's get you a few advices. Advice for group one. My heart feels happy and free. I am completely in peace with myself. I am respect and honor, sorry, and I respect and honor all the decisions 
which is made by me. So keep your words to yourself. So if you promised yourself something, you got to follow through. So it's, it's a little bit of a warning, this one, isn't it? Let's search for group one. Oh, reflection. Keep your eyes open. Um, happiness or joy can be found in small places. So, so you don't necessarily, it's just to be aware that you can find happiness anywhere and not necessarily in like the big, big stuff, the big gestures, the big promises, the big situations, events. It's to be grateful for every little nice moment we have. So just to feels like you have a decision to make group one maybe you're wondering if it's the right thing to do last advice here for group one what do you have to say we have this one embrace through each other you find the missing pieces It is quite a nice reading. I find that well, uh, the energy is nice. It's not heavy. Uh, it's filled with forgiveness. Understanding wants to happen. It's coming. I think uh, it's a matter of time before you see clearly what's best for you to do. Uh, but it's not. It's not like. Um, not so dramatic it's a nice stable energy so enjoy it because energy shifts all the time so while you're in there just enjoy it so i think it's a time for to reflect for both of you actually so yeah keep take that time for yourself allow your person to have his own space for a little a little while a few days a few weeks depending and um and then you'll see what happens but i would keep an open mind here there we go group one this is your reading let me know how this resonates for you like subscribe if it's not done already and uh, take good care of yourself talk to you soon Bye bye <laughs>welcome to the channel if you're new today we're checking out your person's thoughts what they would like to tell you their intentions and their actions so we'll see the, the difference between what they're intending to do and what they will actually do it's always interesting to see the differences but first i want to pull uh, angel numbers for you so we're just gonna pick dices without looking and oh that went far okay we got a zero on the floor zero on the floor for group two here it is okay this one was in a rush to come out five five and one so zero five fifty one is your angel number so you can have a look at the meaning of this message if you're interested don't like to uh to tell which or i don't i don't really have one site that i use for that but there are so many descriptions of angel numbers just go with the ones that resonate okay what do my group my viewer group two here needs to know about their connection here with their person oh we have new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings okay so you need to know that 
So for some of you, this could be really great news. For others, uh, you might not like this if it's somebody outside of the connection. So it can go either way. So let's see what your person would like to tell you right now. And then we'll do the intentions versus action. All right. So what does group two's person would like to tell them at this moment? The Yarrowfant reversed. Six of Cups. Before I keep going, I just heard tribe. You're part of their tribe. And they're not liking the separation or the distance between the two of you. The distance doesn't need to be physical. It can be just like some type of disconnect. If you've been with this person for a while, like the intimacy, I'm not talking in the bedroom, um, but like the time shared together is not like it used to be that's what i'm hearing to start and then we have the ace of swords the seven of swords and the five of pentacles okay i just want to check this ace of swords this person has let you down or they felt let down by you, okay? Just adjust according to your situation. F feel betrayed, abandoned, left behind. Three of Wands to clarify the Ace of Swords. Okay, let me just check the Hierophant. Queen of Swords. Okay. If you're if you're waiting for your person to reach out or to get back in touch with you, they might be afraid that you'll turn them down. Um or that it's too late or that it's gonna be very cold. Um, it feels like out of control, like, like the words are out of control. Communication wants to happen though, with the queen of swords and ace of swords. It's like they would like... To come in and have conversation but they're they're avoiding it still they do value you but they're not feeling strong enough um the, this person might not be ready to commit but they do recognize the pain that they inflicted on you or the consequences of their actions towards you and they know they it was painful Sorry, I'm going to clarify everything. I find it interesting here. Five of Wands reversed. And Chariot reversed. Why do I feel like I have the Four of Swords here reversed? It feels like Forbidden love. There's something forbidden. Or it's like it's almost it's not uh or, or a little secretive. This person could this person could have a crush on you and be afraid to tell you. Afraid of rejection. 
This person might be afraid of rejection. The other thing that I see here, again, you, you adjust according to your connection. This person might have left by fear of being left a few i don't know if that's clear so maybe this person broke up or hurt you by fear of hurt of being hurt so they kind of did it first to protect themselves because this person is feeling weak a little coward here it's not very strong here um not very proud either so they want you to know that If this person is in a relationship right now. Now, well, uh, yeah, I'm going to say that too. Uh, they might feel like a little bit controlled. Not necessarily by a third party. But it could be like by their life, like being stuck and like needing to achieve stuff, do things. And un being unable to stop or slow down. It's like this person was not truthful to themselves. Or is not truthful to themselves. And it's like thinking about the connection or the situation you're going through. Knight of Cups here. Is it's like they need to step on their pride, but they do want some healing. But just know that they don't feel strong. They might look like it, but they're not. Okay, so that's what they want to tell you. Now, their intentions versus what's going to happen. And now we'll go, um, yeah, I'll stay with this. Okay. What are their intentions towards group two? Group two is a person's intentions towards them. Okay, we have the six of wands reversed, page of swords, and the sun. Hmm. Okay, let me just check this one out. Six of swords, six of wands, nine of pentacles reversed. Okay, their intentions. Um, they're they're checking. They're checking what's gonna happen. They want to keep things happy. I feel they could, and I say could, be pretending to be happy. But they want to feel joy. They truly want to feel that joy. But they might just... If you're with this person, they might just pretend everything is fine for now. Didn't you have the Six of Wands? No, eh? Did you? No. Sorry. No. Um... So their intentions is to look at what's going to happen. They're exploring here. This could very well be just a crush for right now. Um, a little bit codependent here. I don't think they're taking real action, but they might be spying on you with the Page of Swords here. So it's like they're almost certain that it's going to fail or something. Ace of Swords, again, this person, it's right here underneath. They're just like overthinking this, but they do want to open communication. 
So it might not be a big gesture, but they do want to open communication. Self-confidence here is really low. Uh, or they might just step on their pride. Well, let's just dig a little bit more here and see what comes true. Tell me more about the Six of Wands and Nine of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Wands here reversed as well. It's almost like giving up, giving up something. Um... They might just feel happy looking at you or spying on you on your social medias and stuff. They're not fighting very hard. Okay, so this person is not fighting very hard. Maybe they're waiting for you to come towards them as well. Right now, they're just like happy with, with chatting or just looking at you, thinking about you. But it's like they're not really intentionally taking action here. They might be depending on you. We have the Queen of Cups reversed here at the bottom. Oh, let's do that. Oh, Queen of Cups. Re Oops, sorry. Sorry, I'm dropping stuff. Mm. It's very, very insecure. This is insecure. This is very insecure as well. Um, they might be relying on you to, to decide what's going to happen here, even. Let me know how this resonates in, in, uh, in the comments, because... It is quite a, well, usually the messages are not coming through that way. Um, okay, so what will they actually do? What will they actually do? Because you know what? It's like they're not putting too much thoughts into actually doing anything it's very much in their head page of swords here again what will they do so you have it in the intention you have it in the action so they will they will keep looking at you they might you know it is also a card of action queen of cups reverse you have it here too okay what will they do? We have the Two of Cups. Okay. We have the Lovers reversed. This is like a little weird. Queen of Swords, it's here. And we have the Tower at the bottom. What the, what's going on here? Well, this is an interesting, uh, definitely interesting reading. They're very resistant here. They might look very cold to you. Domineering. You got quite a bit of swords. The tower is quite, quite a big change. There's lots of hesitation here. Um, the Page of Swords is very curious. He, he's a little restless too. He doesn't think things true before they act. So a little impulsive, but like naive, in a naive way. They might approach you here in open communication, but they're looking for some type of change here. 
because they do they would like to come to to come in alignment with you here or to meet you closer or to get closer to you but you have the like an opposite here with the lovers and it's a strong one um of duality and the tower and the lovers are both cards that are associated with like the twin flame connection you don't need to be twin flames but it is a twin flame card so it's like a battle between it's like a lot needs to change and transform so that that thing things can align but it looks like this person is interested in to doing that but is very very insecure the like insecurities are like through the roof here in all your reading um the only thing that bothers me really is the Queen of Cups reverse because you have it twice. It can go in so many directions. So I, I just need to warn you here that there could be some lying. Not necessarily and not for all of you. But there could be some li lying, something dishonest. There is an interest, but it's just, it, it feels stuck. Let's see what your person would like to tell you. Maybe that's going to give, give you more answers. Because they're really seeking some answers. With the Ace of Swords twice and Page of Swords and Queen of Swords, it's like they're very much in their head. They're also being like... Um, it's like they they might be overthinking this, but or they're thinking about it a lot. There it could be some planning that they're doing, but like in terms of action, it's 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 like open to check it out, but we're not committing yet. I think the insecurities are, are like taking so much space. Once that is settled, then things can become more clear. You feel like a warm home to me and you harm the song of my heart. Let's to start. Message for group two. I miss seeing you around. Maybe that's something, so this has something to do with the Page of Swords twice. Please listen to my side. This one wants to come out, so I'll take it. I think about you constantly. Yeah, well, that I'm not surprised. I just mentioned this person is thinking about you a lot. So maybe you used to see each other a lot and... And now, oops, okay, that's too many, sorry. And now you're not, maybe you just changed job or something, maybe somebody moved. It's like they're wondering what's up with you. If it's like a recent type of separation, It's like maybe this person is realizing that they're missing you before they didn't think too much of it. But now that you're not there, missing you. I don't react when people mention you, but yet they think about you constantly. So they're hiding something here. I'm afraid to contact you. Yeah, very insecure person here. Maybe they, they think that you're going to turn them down. 
sorry I, I already pulled those cards but I wanted one more you are magnetic to me those are nice cards depending well if it's a crush I would let that just do its own thing and take the time it takes there's like exploration going on with your person here something is changing it's like they're changing their mind about you hmm. but i just want you to notice that it's not a very emotional reading it's more like in the head analyzing i just wanted to point that out okay message advice for group two reflection interesting because um this came out in pile one and i was thinking ah oh, maybe it looks like that. you could have a look at pile one you could do that it's similar but not the same maybe you'll have a message in pile one as well so you have reflection and on the back it says keep your eyes open joy can be found in little places or in little things let me pull you one more from a different deck hmm. advice for group two <laughs> okay you got joy again joy is the ultimate creator and you know what this person wants joy they want something fun here. Okay. Advice for group two. I am I am just pure magic. My body is the the biggest responsibility for me and i will do anything which is best for my body and only for me so this is about like choosing for yourself what's good if this person likes to party a lot and you don't feel like partying so much th that's a ty type of situation when you need to respect yourself it's just an example, obviously. But I saw that scene of like a, like a bar, like a place where you go dancing, like all night dancing. I haven't been in one of those places in ages. <laughs> Look fun, but maybe you're not so much into that. So take what resonates, obviously. All right, we have this one here. It says, oh, okay, sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. And I mentioned, right, about there's definitely something in pile one for you, uh, by the way, um, if you're interested. I was mentioning about the twin flame thing or the soul connection that seems to be there between the two of you for some and might like I think for lots of you it might be new uh, or not necessarily a new person but a new realization that's going on so it's like the process is starting of like recognizing the each other's soul it's a very interesting reading all right group one uh, two <laughs> this is your reading if you're interested in personal reading i do have some availabilities uh beginning of next week or anytime but next week like monday tuesday i got quite a bit of spots so if you're interested and um yeah take good care of yourself let me know how this resonate uh like subscribe comment and i'll see you very soon thank you so much have a good one hello group three 
Okay, hope you're doing good. Gotta warn you here, I have like, uh, like funky readings, the two previous piles. Um, I don't want to say more because, um, I don't want to influence this, this, uh, this reading here, but, um, just so that you know, it's, it's a weird and uh, weird vibe. Okay. So, uh, before I start, I just want to pull your angel numbers. I'm not looking at what I'm grabbing here. So you can look at those numbers, what the meaning of the, this angel number means. I can Google that. Uh, so 3014 is your angel number. 3014. You can check this out. And what do you need to know about this connection right now? What does group three needs to know about this connection that they're thinking of? Engagement. Engagement group three. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, just with that, I kind of have a sense that it's going to be similar to the other pile. Okay. So we'll um we'll get through it. Be patient, and they were hard readings to read. So we'll see what what's gonna happen. I'm starting with what your person wants you to know. So what they would say to you, and after that, I'm gonna check out their intentions and their action. So what they're planning to do versus what they will actually do. You're getting some messages from them as well and advice at the end. Okay, so what does your person want you to know at this time? Group three. We have the ten of wands. What did they want you to know? Page of cups. Oh, okay. I think the one that flipped here. The lovers reversed. Sorry. What do they want to say here? Oh, God, okay, the tower. Okay, stay put, okay? Because I, I want to say something after I read this. We have the Three of Cups reversed. I'll clarify here. Okay, if I'm recording this, we're November 16, 17, 17. I'm pretty sure <laughs> so I'm the Thursday before this video is released so I think I, I'm pretty sure uh, we're the 18 but maybe it's the 17 I'm wondering if if you know is there some kind of retrograde eclipse anything going on right now Because all piles, they all have something very similar. And it's not the usual similar. We have the moon reversed. Clarify the three. Sorry, is, that's not a three. Yes, is it a three? No, it's five. Five of cups reversed. Sorry. Very soon, I will have to have my reading glasses on all the time. Okay, five of cups reverse. I think I said the three.
Queen of Swords. And you have the Three of Swords here. Ah, okay. It might be a difficult reading, okay, Group 3? It's like this person doesn't feel ready or, or wants you to know that they did not feel ready. Okay, there's a lot of resistance, a lot of duality here, a lot of um, contradictions. It's like a little bit like this is chaotic. Chaotic with the lovers and also the tower right next to it. Something really wants to change. It's like a big, massive step, uh, but it's super frustrating as well. Um, there's something very painful. Um, heavy, it's heavy, like a burden. And this person, it's like this person would like to have a nice surprise or do a nice surprise to you, like a little offer here. Or it's like you happened in their life and they were not planning it. You have the Three of Swords here. Okay, that's why I was confused. You have Three of Swords and Five of Cups reversed. <clears throat> this person is either heartbroken or they know that they broke your heart. Um, very frustrated. It's it's also very lonely. The lovers reverse is a card of separation, disconnect, m disagreement, uh, just misalignment. Like doesn't feel right. Uh, but it feels it feels angry. Uh, this person is realizing that they miss an opportunity or that they will miss an opportunity. Um, but if they did already missed out, um, they know the pain inflicted or they are in pain. So you can always adjust, okay? The, the roles can be reversed. feel like this person if you're not together at that time was not ready to change or didn't see how important the connection was for them they made it a little too like the intellectualized things now they're seeing more clearly there's a lot of like regrets or like sorrows um, but this person is changing or has changed. They want you to know that, that they're working on it. But this person has a very heavy heart. Okay, their heart is very heavy and I feel it is just like pushing like on my chest area, like the lung. It's like difficult to be, to breathe. You pierced my heart. I just heard that. I don't know if that for one person or for the collective, but I just heard that. You pierced my heart. Um, They'd like to take... Uh, sorry, I was just listening to what I'm hearing. I uh, stopped talking for a moment. I don't know how long that was. Maybe it wasn't long. I don't know. Um, sorry, I had to plug in my, my phone. Battery was dead. Um, it's like this person... couldn't do it in the past and now they're seeing that like they could have done it but i don't know what the it is 
and they're thinking about maybe having conversation with you here. It's like you crossed their mind quite a bit and whatever happened is heavy on their heart. So they want you to know that. So let's check out the intentions and then the actions. What does, oh, sorry, wrong deck. Did not feel right. Oh, something is. Okay, so what does the person for group three, what are their intentions towards group three? Six of Pentacles. Their intentions right now. Nine of Cups. Six of Wands. Okay. I, I, I said I wanted to say something before. I, I'm going to say it now. Uh, this is very similar to Group 2. So if you were looking at, I don't like to say go check the other pile, but when it's so similar in the vibe that I'm getting, um, I think it's worth saying, pile two has something similar, but also does pile one. So you could go check either or both of those two other piles and just take what resonate with you in them okay it might not be the whole reading that's that resonate but there's similar cards similar energies i would you know i'm just saying oh and also uh, the lovers and the tower don't often come out together but when they do it does indicate a very strong soul connection and it could also indicate twin flames you don't have to be twin flames but it does indicate something uh, very strong that that's bonding both souls both of your souls okay their intentions and back to the intentions we have the page of wands here ace of swords at the bottom um wow okay so so definitely pile two has a lot of similar cards not a lot but enough to make it worth it to watch okay back to here your person's intentions for now is to kind of keep things quiet, but happy. There's a lot of insecurity here with the Six of Wands reversed, Six of Pentacles reversed, Two Sixes reversed. Um, I think they're, that they're lacking trust or um, faith in themselves. There's... Number six is about harmony. So it's like you have the happy here and it's squished between two unhappy, very insecure and off balance. So it's like they're going to keep it smooth, keep it happy. So that they're not going to create wave. They don't know. They don't want to create waves. They don't want to provoke. Uh, or just to take action, they're slowing down, they're just taking it slow. That's their intentions to not change nothing, really, to keep it, I'm hearing civil, uh, to keep it nice between the two of you. Okay? Um, they're planning to take a chance on something, though. There's planning here and there's action as well, but with a page. So it's little. It's a little action. That they're enthusiastic about. 
It could be about traveling. It could be about an offer, like a serious offer. We have something here. But it's like the beginning of the thinking process. So it's not quite, there's a lot of like change of mind. It goes up and down. And But they want to keep things nice and smooth if you're together. And if you're not, they're just not going to create waves here. I don't see, if you're in no contact, I don't see them reaching out here. They're, they're keeping the peace, basically. Uh, which is a little... Ah. They're just playing safe in their, in their mind. What action will they actually take? We have, oh, good. We have the six of one upright. It is reverse right here. Okay. What will they actually do? Page of Pentacles reversed. What will they actually do? Nine of Wands reversed. This is the Ten of Wands. Uh, it could be like they're going to take their guards down. Knight of Swords. Oh, that's interesting. It's right here reversed. This is crazy. These are the same. These two are the same. What's going on with the collective and Ten of Swords? Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. The Yerophant reversed. There's some kind of change of mind. Queen of Wands reverse. Okay, so what I'm getting here, uh, and just like, uh, there might be, for right now, they're taking it slow. And they're not doing much, okay? It's like they're putting something behind, they're leaving something behind here. It's the end of some type of beliefs. It could be a separation, and this separation doesn't mean necessarily with you. You, uh, There's no third party cards here, but it could be that there's a third party involved here. And we have like a separation and an engagement here. We have, a, we have this distance here and this change that wants to happen here. It's like things are shaking. They're, things are moving here, or they want to move, but it's like your person is putting the brake on. This person wants to be valued and recognized. But it's also very low profile. So it's kind of it's kind of weird to have those two things together like low profile but wanting the recognition it's almost like they're hiding um having here there's there's not many cups here it's like it it's like this, it's decision making time. And we're not like the, the feelings are what they are, but it's like very much in the head what's happening. And that's why I'm saying pile two is very similar and it's a little bit unclear. <laughs> okay. Just like this one. It's like they're stopping something to create something new 
but there's quite a bit of stagnation. It's frustrating. There's um, uncertainty. Not necessarily insecurities here, but uncertainty. A little bit of doubt. This person might be jealous or afraid that you're jealous. There's something about that Knight of Cups reversed. Uh, they might be afraid that you won't forgive them as, if that's the case, if forgiveness needs to happen. But this person is not very active. Okay, I gotta tell you that. It's not very active. Even though this is, this could be nice for some of you. But it's it's like a period of, of reflection. But they're really not giving much here. So you do what you think is best. Let's see what your person wants you to know. Okay, I'll pull up quite a few of those. I am true to you. I check your social media all the time. Okay. I treasure our time together. I'm so attracted to you. I want to tell you how I feel. This could be somebody that never spoke to you really and they're just hesitating. This could also be someone that has not healed from a past relationship. Okay. Just being near you is intoxicating. Whoa. I'd like someone to tell me that. Who wouldn't? Well, in a good way, right? <clears throat> Message for group two three group three sorry i cannot cannot handle any more our heartbreak and we have the heartbreak here so this could be it maybe this person has not overcome a past relationship this could be it as well your beauty cascades over me. You are my dream come true. I am shocked at your existence. Well, not bad. Okay, so what does Spirit wants you to know here? And advice for you, group three. Just fell down. <laughs> we have, well, this is your image here. Looks very much like this into your heart and stay grounded. Sorry. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into the light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Unwanted thoughts. So get rid of unwanted thoughts. That's nice. So that you can create something new. Advice for group three, please. What's the advice for group three? Okay, you get goals. And look, there's this cage here. And you got the hot hair balloon flying away, escaping, getting out of it, getting out of that cage of like the prison uh, of the mind. Uh, to me, a cage is always a prison of the mind because it's all about perception. 
and you have it here as well so it says um define your goal write it down or take note of it and let go of the outcome just let it be after you wrote it down so every little step do a big difference so little step by little step you will reach your goal but you need you need to be persistent and devoted all right not this one uh, last advice here for group three What's the message for group three? We have, I may, uh, sorry, I have the courage to be the happiest, LTS version of myself. And it's true that it takes a lot of courage to, to be happy and stay happy because it is a choice. So to, to to choose constantly means that you need to be in awareness. So always to be present in the moment. I am good enough, strong enough, and smart enough to handle anything that comes my way today. So you can go through this. You can go through this group three. Let me know how this resonates in the comments. If you're interested in a personal reading, uh, you can visit my website and see the options there. Um, let me know. Like, subscribe. Take good care of yourself. And have a good, good day. And I'll see you at the next reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.